The selected traditional paintings feature Vietnamese folk games like the Serpent's Tail, Dragon Dance, Kill and Dance, Tug of War, and Blind Man's Bluff. While these paintings are less known than the famous Four Seasons and Four Virtues collections, they still showcase the distinctive traits of Hang Chong art, unmistakable in their uniqueness. <laughs> I've seen Hang Trong paintings adapted onto materials like gemstones and ceramics, yet they retain their distinctiveness, unmistakable from other forms of art. During the workshop, participants have the opportunity to decorate their own Puna paper lanterns. Guided by artisans, they can print black outlines, hand paint details, add colors, or create their own designs. Activities like this help students connect more closely with our cultural heritage. I enjoy these activities because they help promote folk art to young people, allowing us to revive traditional art forms. Through lanterns depicting images of Vietnamese folk games, the Marshall Color Project aims to evoke childhood memories. When we launched this workshop series, we received positive feedback from folk art enthusiasts, especially young people. Beyond merely admiring the lanterns, the process of hand painting and affixing artwork onto the lanterns allows participants to gain a deeper understanding of the cultural significance and beauty inherent in each traditional painting. The Puna Paper Lantern Making Event Series will be held every Sunday until September 15th.